What's up, ladies? Alex. So, happy Valentine's Day. And I wish you guys... So, let's talk about what is great sex. Okay. Um, I decided to make this question... I decided to make this video because I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, you know what, Danessa? Like, you talk about a lot of things in this channel, but you don't talk about sex that much. You talk about having sex. You talk about fantasies, but not the actual act. So I was like, you know what, let me come up with a video of how to, what is, to give you guys a definition from a guy's pers perspective of what is good sex. And how to improve your sex skills to, um, in a way that doesn't require much thinking involved. Now, let me tell you this though. A lot of women, was, you're going to see me place a lot of the responsibilities on you. Okay. Um, don't tell me, um, oh, tell that to the guys who are the ones that take two minutes to have sex. You know, like, don't, don't worry about them, man. I have another channel. I'll talk about them. I'll talk to them about that, right? Let's talk about you now, right? The first thing, what it is, what good sex is all about is, let me first get this one, this part out the way. Good sex does not mean no condoms, okay? That, that, that is not good sex. That is, that is stupid sex, unless you're not, unless you're with someone. I say this because not a lot of women ask that before they have sex. Don't ask me how, I know that, but that's what I notice. Um, I'm the one who's the one who has to say no to that. You believe that shit? Do you believe that's at me? And to be honest with you, there's a lot of things that I'm that I'm not that I'm I'm very normal, but one thing that women have always told me that I found that different, that out of most guys, I'm one of the only ones who said put a condom up. Um, I'm not saying I'm a special, but I just found that interesting. I'm like, I thought that was common sense. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so let's talk about that. The first thing is, is that in order to have good sex, you have to first learn how to ha create the circumstance where sex is spicy, where it gives um, sex an added spice. Now, this, con this also applies to people who are in relationships and also people who are not in relationships. The reason why is this is because if you just have sex in one place, it gets boring. It, it just gets boring. Like, you have to change your circumstance. You know, you got to learn, you got to, you got to, you got to learn how to use the power of quickies to spike things up, the power of having long sex sessions, um, and just in a whole bunch of different circumstances, you have to learn how to do that. Because if you just limit it to your house, if you just limit it to one place, it gets old. So it's not the sex is old, it's just the place is old. It's kind of like wanting to re um, to change how your room looks. You have the same look in your room and so you change it up and it actually does make a difference. The variety. So change the circumstance. Go from hotel sex, motel sex, forest sex, jail sex, house sex. My parents are sleeping in the next door and we got to be quiet sex. You know, stuff like that. Like change it up. Because if you're not changing it up, that means you're not seeing it from a, from a place of fun. You're seeing it more as a chore. You put a little calendar, you know, you say, all right, you know, I'm going to schedule. I'm, let's schedule a fuck at 6 p.m. on Thursday, okay, all right, all right, let's schedule one here. Oh, let's schedule one here, too. You know, you guys are fucking scheduling it. Now, there's nothing wrong with scheduling, but there is something wrong with no variety, with no spontaneousness. And the next part is the taboo. When you integrate the taboo, what is a taboo? It's something that's not socially, that's socially unacceptable. Now, in the society that we live in today, we lost a lot of those natural taboos. So we have to recreate them on a conscious level. That's why you have fantasies. You know, every, every girl has a fantasy. Every single woman, doesn't matter the age, has a fantasy. You could tell that to somebody else. Don't tell that to me because I know. Okay, I know. Who you talking to, girl? You know what that is. Sometimes women are afraid to express it. Maybe the guy's not kinky enough. And I understand. But you know what? If you are kinky and he's not, he's going to respect you for that. He's like, I got a, I got a nasty girl on my hands. You know? So you, what you got to do is talk about what you want. The taboo, you have to include that. But what's an example of the taboo? Having sex in public. Um... When you're saying hi to your guy, rather than just giving him a kiss, quickly grabbing his dick, like, hey, baby, -uh, and, and like, it's a quick, and, and the thing is, it has to be in public, and make sure you don't get caught. But even if you do get caught, because you're a couple, people can be like, damn, 
that girl's a freak. <laughs> but generally speaking, though, you have to include the taboo. So include fantasies, role playing. You see, you have to do that. Play those games because if you don't, it's gonna get old. See, you gotta treat sex as a toy, as a game, not as an identity, not as a. This is who I am. Don't don't you dare criticize me if I don't give good head. Motherfucker, giving good head is not about, about how, how about your natural talent to give head. There's no talent of giving head. Hey, Missy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Look. What are you doing? Huh? Don't shake your head. What are you doing, Missy? Look at the camera. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I'm embarrassing the camera. <laughs> so you have to do that. All right, number four. Right, come on. Yeah. Number four, create a temptation. Remember what I talked about in the previous video? A temptation is showing something a guy wants. And, and 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 creating a, an intentional barrier. For example, Macy likes the thing that's in my mouth, the the coffee. Actually, if you guys ever want a good coffee, that's not coffee, but that gives you energy. You should get this. This is called um, mushroom coffee. It's not coffee. It's um, lime, mane, and chaga, and it gives you energy. Like that shit is dope if you want to focus. But a temptation is me drinking this, and rather than giving her the drink, saying no. And say no more, no, 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 because of the barrier, and then giving it to her. Now, if I would have given it to her initially, she would have what? Appreciated it, but not as much. If I would have, as opposed to making the barrier, saying I know what you want it, nope, 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 now she lost hope, and then I give it to her. So you want to have that. You want to create those temptations. So, for example, intentionally, see, this is the thing that. I'm thinking about relationships. And, oh, it's a, it, a, 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 a temptation could be, for example, going to your parents' house, going into your parents' house and trying to have sex in your parents' house while they're away for like 10 minutes. That's a temptation. Or going into a, trying to have sex in a public place where you guys can get caught, but that you know you can't get caught. That's a temptation. For example, um, I would, okay, this is what I would do, right? Sometimes I would turn the girl on, right? And... I, I, in New York City, I know all the best spots to have sex in New York City. The best spots. Because I was living, I was living in somebody in my aunt's house in, in the, in the um, living room, so I couldn't bring girls over over there. So every time, people know me that every time I'm walking down the city, I'm always looking around, like, looking at spots, like, nobody's just observing, like, it's just, just a habit, like, I'm just looking. And people tell me, like, what are you looking for? It's simply because I got in the habit of looking for places where you can sneak a quick five minute session in. And there's so many places in the city, and so people who know me, they know that I have that habit of sometimes just like, huh, interesting, and just looking away. And I'll keep that as a mental note. And so what what I would do sometimes is I would be on a date, and I would turn the girl on, right? And to the point where she'll want to have sex, and then I'll say, oh, no, we can't do this. I'll be the one who fucking sets the limit. But like, no, we can't do this, we can't do this. she be like, but I don't, but I'm sorry, we can't, we can't. I know there's one spot right there, but we can't, we can't. Now she's like, please take me to the spot, take me to the spot. And I say, no, I can't while I'm walking there. <laughs> I can't even do it, this is so wrong. Setting the temptation, setting the, like, uh, setting the barrier. And that creates, and that gives the sex a more of a, more of like a, more meaning, more mental meaning. Like us against the world, let's be quiet, shut the fuck up. You see, like telling her, telling her to shut the fuck up as you're going and doing your thing, you know. Um, and because it's true, you don't want to get caught. Hey. What the pens? I mean, that would be even harder if you keep going. You imagine that shit? Sir, what are you doing? And you should fucking try to go finish it all. Oh, one second, officer! <laughs> Alright, let me keep talking. Um, another part of good sex is becoming uninhibited. You have to uninhibit yourself. Get out of your own head. You see, a lot of people have a lot of insecurity with sex. The thing is that people don't understand is that sex is not, abs is not a big deal. I mean... There is a lot, there is a, see, I'm, this is, okay, look, this is something that I understand, people cannot understand, even when I say it's not a big deal, because even I myself, when I think about a random boy having sex, I'll put no meaning, but then when I put my, yeah, I imagine like having me having a daughter and her having sex, now that's a different meaning, so I understand that 
there is an actual layer to sex, but at the same time, in reality, again, it's just a mental label, like we're just giving it a special meaning. And so when you're able to see the world through those two eyes, you're able to, at times, step out of that paradigm into the uninhibited realm. When, you, when you're able to at least, emotionally, to a certain degree, understand and disidentify from the roles that we have in sex. So you wouldn't mind things that happen because you're not following a certain criteria. You got to look perfect. You know, oh, you got to look all, you got to act out sexy. No, you let go. Like, let go. You make up your own rules. You don't mind what happened. You don't mind if you get the precision wrong. You laugh about it. You know, if the guy comes too fast, you guys laugh and say, oh, that was quick. You know, like stuff like that. Like, you're able to take away your identity and just see it as it is. As a fun thing. I mean, do we have to make everything so goddamn seriously? Do we even have to include sex as part of it? I mean, come on, man. Like, nothing's better than a woman who has sex with a smile on. Nothing's better than a woman who can take a dick with a fucking smile. Like, there is nothing better than that. You see what I'm saying? So rather than having that fucking like serious face, like 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 you're fucking putting a, a threat through a needle, no pun intended, right? Like you're fucking putting a threat through a needle, you it takes the fun out. You want to have sex and just be like a kid in the playground, but instead of the 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 the, the, the monkey jams and the, the fucking swings, you're swinging on his dick. Like that's the only difference. And so when you see it that way, it's just more fun. Yeah, it has to be a game. Like, life is a game. Like, when I tell guys, when you're talking to a girl, it doesn't, like, it's not a life or death situation. So, just take your identity out of it and just enjoy the moment. And then once you could do that, then you're able to be free, relax, try new positions. You don't mind saying, ooh, ooh, let me go, let's try this. Like, you, you, do you, you, you know what I'm talking about? It's that part of you that, that you're not hesitant part like that. Ooh, like, uh, like, like, you rather than, rather than fucking talking on his dick, you like, Tuggy a little bit, like, you know, like, oh, oh, oh I'm afraid. It's, it's that, oh, I'm afraid, like, the, 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 I'm out, but I don't want to come out. That part, you got you, you to gotta let that shit go. You got to let go of that. And sometimes it has to do with the other partner, too. If the other partner is inhibited, then you guys are either going to have to learn to be uninhibited, and not, this is not your channel for you. You could do that in this channel, but this channel is for who specializes in sex. I don't, I'm not a specialist in sex, let me tell you that, okay? But... A big part of it, I believe, is just having to uninhibit yourself. Another part is you gotta see it. You gotta have fun. You gotta have fun with it. You have to play. If you're not able, if you're not, if you if you're not constantly trying new positions just for the hell of it, you're not having fun. If you're not constantly playing around with different things, you're not having fun. Like if you're not having fun with sex, if you're not, if if it doesn't feel like a like just. The process to sex, during sex, if that's not fun, then it's not good sex. Good sex is fun. It doesn't matter how intense it was. If it was fun and you guys smiled and I had a good time, that's fun. Another part is, be cool with saying no. On both parties. A big part of the sex is... Are you able to say no and know that the person's going to be cool with it? That even comes on your part. Are you able to say no to the person and be cool with saying no? See, it's not even about the person reacting cool to it. It's about you not, not giving a fuck. So it's not even that you're going to say no. It's the mere fact that you don't mind saying no. That you feel no remorse. No, oh, I'm sure I don't want to hurt your feelings. You know, your dick is nice. You know, it's a nice, well, it's a nice dick, but I just, it's just not you. I'm just not, I don't want to have sex. Like, no, you don't give a, don't give a fuck about rejecting people, man. That, that's their responsibility. That's their responsibility. You got to learn how to say no and be okay with it. Because when that happens, you, it's a sign that you have become disinhibited. You just... Just don't care. You know what you want, and you're not afraid to say it. And so that will expand to so many other things. It's the pressure of, I don't want to reject the person. That fucks up a lot of the things. It's being able to say, well, man, like, I don't know, like, this, just, ah, I'm not comfortable with this. Be able to say no. Now, I, okay, look, it's one thing to say no, but I'm just saying, like, say no and be comfortable with saying no. Just get used to it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying, like, don't say no, or, or, or don't say you're like a bitch. No, I'm not saying that, but... Get, get comfortable with it because that really does affect the way you even perform. Like, it really does. It really does. 
because it's a reflection of how you're able to express yourself. It's a reflection of you, of of of, of you not being, of you being okay with disappointing people. Like you have to be okay with it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways, it's Alex from MyFunTraction.org. Um, I may make more videos today. Uh, I'm supposed. To, I'm, I'm waiting for the guy for for Mark to put the videos up. Um, let me tell you something. I fuck. We. I fucked up because I gave him the videos late. I procrastinated on that, so that's definitely my fault. So if we don't get the. If I don't have the guest speaker today, that'll be my fault. So um, he's actually pretty goddamn consistent. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna post a link to his videos, his channel, so you guys could go there and check his channel out. Anyways, um, alright, so have a good day. Bye-bye.